Uh, PS4 Pro. Let's talk about that relatively quickly. But I won't rush it, though. Don't worry. So what do you got to say? Say it. Hurry up. Split it out. So it's big. Mm-hmm. Here's, the, here's the key takeaways. It's big. Mm-hmm. Setting it up wasn't like the greatest experience. I mean, I guess... Yeah, the Xbox way is better, I feel. Like, you just can just sign in and everything just... You can download anything, any of the games or apps, and then, like, your saves are synced up. PlayStation doesn't have that. What they have is they have a transfer between console function, and you can choose what gets transferred. When I... And then you have to have them both connect... It says connect them both to the same network, uh, or... it. I read that you could put a Ethernet cable between the two of them, but it doesn't give you that option uh, when you're when you're doing it. And it said on the on the website that it didn't make a difference in the transfer speeds. It said it was going to take ten hours to move three hundred and sixty gigabytes of stuff. So I said fuck that, and then I just had it move my saves, and I just re-downloaded everything, and that took like five minutes. Um, so I. <laughs> Well, I'm sort of disappointed right away as soon as I start loading up a game because it's it's still pretty loud. The fans, it's not as loud as my launch PS4, but it's you know it's on when you when you got a game in there, you definitely know it's on. It's definitely louder than the Xbox One S. It's got, it's got that power. It's too it's much power. power in there. Too much power, and I don't know the, the fans. It, it, maybe it needs to be bigger. Because I'd probably rather it have it have it be a little bigger and quieter. Uh, than so is this how is it wider than the like the original PlayStation Four, or is it just I be- taller? I, I believe it's yeah, it's deeper. I believe it, it could be wider too. I don't have them side by side right now. Uh, but I don't I don't think most people really care too much about the size. I like the the texture. I don't you know I personally. You know, the, the looks of it, I don't really care about. Um, so I got that all set up after finally, and I popped in a few games that I saw got updated just to see, like, is it really a big deal or not? I mean, it's definitely, the improvements are definitely noticeable in the games that I tried, but to say that it's like a must-have thing would not be true. Even if you had a 4K TV, I would say if you didn't have a PlayStation and you're going to go buy a PlayStation, you definitely want the PS4 Pro. But if you already have one, I don't know. It's not, I haven't seen anything yet that has made me like want to go back and play games that I haven't finished yet because they look so much better now. You know, I tried um, Uncharted 4. I I tried out uh, Infamous. I tried out... Uh, Shadows of Mordor. It's interesting. Like some of the games give you options. Like, do you want better frame rate or higher resolution? It's it's sort of like a PC in that Can you have. Can you switch around on the fly, or once mm, you make a decision, you're kind of stuck that way? Then you have to exit the game to kind of see the difference. It's going to be totally dependent on the game. Okay. All these, all this thing. Because I think things. that would that would kind of be what I'd want to do. It's like, okay, well, let's see how it looks the higher resolution. So maybe I want better frame rate, and then kind of switch it around and kind of see the difference. Yeah, it's it's really like it's like a mini, it's like an introduction to PC gaming in a way. Like you know, there's a lot more options on the PC side when you're doing this stuff, enough to make you crazy. But you. Basically, what you're doing is you're making decisions about how you want the game to run, and am I going to sacrifice resolution for frame rate or or what? So some get so depending on the game, they may have some options, they may have no options. Some of the games may make you exit out to the main menu to to turn on certain things, and some may not. I mean, yeah, Uncharted looked like really good. I mean, it always looked good, but I can see that it looks better. Um, yeah, they all look a little bit better. I wasn't. Like floored, and I but I haven't tried any of like the new games like Titanfall or, or Call of Duty, which I'll be I guess I'll be doing this week. Try try Call of Duty. Yeah, I'd be interested to see because that that's a fantastic looking game. And I hear, but see, it's already fantastic looking, and you know, like how much time? See, it I think really... I think it's it's more interesting for to know the difference between a game that you've already played and if you can really see a difference. Like, can you see a difference in Shadow of Mordor or not? 
you, yes, you like I said, you can definitely see the difference. I mean, these are all really good looking games to begin with. It does. They definitely seem sharper now, uh, or the frame rate can be better. You know, it's, bottom it's line, am you. I missing out on anything? No, here? no. The point is that if you already have a PS4, I don't think you get you need to get one or feel bad about not having one. Uh, especially if you don't have a 4K TV. What if you um, know someone that's giving one away via his website? Should I enter his contest? <laughs> Maybe a lot of people entered that. That was our most popular uh, retweeted thing ever, I think. Nice. Um, yeah. So, I mean, look, it's very early. It just launched. These are all older games getting updated. If you think about it, like how much incentive is there really for these companies to update these games that have been out for a long time already? How much time are they going to spend optimizing it? My answer is probably not that much time unless there's still money to be made there, which there probably isn't. So, you know, we'll see going forward what the big differences are. Um, horizon, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so far, I'm, look, I'm glad I got it. Horizon, what? Uh, what's it? Hor- Dawn Horizon? What's that? Called? Oh, okay, okay. The, yeah. the dino- robot dinosaur is it called Horizon? Yeah, they it's maybe. Uh, Dawn I hear something. Horizon, and I think I think Cars. Forza. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I know what you Cars. were thinking. I even second guess myself, but after I said it. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, I don't don't regret it or anything, but and I see like it seems to be popular. People are excited about it. But we'll have to really wait and see to see if it's really worth it. Uh, if you already have a PS4, we just—I think do, right now. Do you know what's really popular right now? <laughs> what? Xbox Ones. What do you yeah. mean? They—they they won a four straight month of MPD. Oh, I didn't see that. Yep. So it will be interesting to see what the Pro does against the Xbox One S now. Yeah, uh, I th- you know. Judging by today, it's not a scientific study, of <laughs> of course, but judging by my experience at Best Buy, I think that people are excited about it. The, the employees seem to think they had good action, uh, you know, on the pre-orders. So I don't I'm know. interested to see if they have enough stock of these things, though. I, I, I don't know if they're going to be constrained on how many of, they, of these they made. Um, I think it's going to perform well during the holidays, of course. I think it's a gr- it's a great idea. It's like, you know, it's basically like a new, you know, what Nintendo does with their portables. What? Except, except you know, it's, you know, not just a form factor thing. Mm-hmm. I, I do find it like, it's crazy to me that the only bundle out there for PlayStation, it looks like for uh, the holiday season is the Uncharted 4 bundle still. There's no Call that, of Duty bundle? Yeah, look I, at that. I have, I'm looking... I haven't seen it. I thought it's the new home of Call of Duty. It is. There's been some sales that have like thrown in Call of Duty for for a little bit more. But I mean, the pri- oh, price is what wins the holidays, right? Oh yeah. So oh yeah, price is Xbox, price, price wins everything. Price wins everything. Right. The Xbox One S has crazy deals where they're throwing in. Like all all of these games Everything. and you're getting gift cards and <laughs> hand yeah. jobs, free games, three hundred and eighty dollar games. Uh, yeah, it's hard to beat price. I think for the hardcore PlayStation, this is for the hardcore PlayStation fan, which there are a lot of. Hmm? The 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 PS4 Pro. I'm saying, you know, I know what people you're saying. people want to just throw people who want to throw money at Sony. Will happily buy a PS4 Pro, and is, that's fine. I, that's, I think Nintendo people are going to be throwing, throwing money at both Sony and Microsoft this holiday. It should be good. I, I think this is finally the holiday where the the 360 and the PS3 crowd um, that has been waiting. Oh yeah, they, yeah, totally. Like th- this is the year that they they go buy something. You got backwards compatibility on the Xbox side. You got a choice of PlayStations, you know, if you want to go for that power, the Pro could appeal to you. I don't know. It's it's yeah, I think it's going to be a good holiday season. Except you have too many games. That might be the only problem. <laughs> too many AAA games. Now, I guess that can't be a problem. 